Greetings, humanoids of the internet. My name is Bob, and we're playing Kerbal Space Program version 0 0.17. Uh, There's a new version that's, that's come, just come out. I've really been chosen for it because it includes planets. Planets and new moons and new planets. Uh, I'm kind of sleepy today, so I may not be that entertaining, but we'll see what happens. I already have a moon rocket built, or a, sorry, an interplanetary rocket built. Uh, and I'm not going to show you the launch because the the lag and the frame rate issues are such that if I tried to run a video at the same or record a video at the same time that I'm launching this rocket, <coughs> excuse me, I'm afraid bad things will happen. Uh, so I will show you the rocket though. This is the new interface for Kerbal Space Program. Oh, they flew away. We're going to resume saved. And I'll show you the my uh, new interplanetary rocket. I've also had some allergy issues, so you may hear some sniffles. We're loading the rocket Planet Commander 2. Load. And it's going to choke for a while while I was thinking about that loading that rocket. There we go. Uh, now, uh, new in uh, version uh, 0 0.17, we have the Atomic Rocket Motor, LVN Atomic Rocket Motor, which is uh, very cool for uh, interplanetary travel because it doesn't use much gas. Um, and uh, most of the parts are pretty much the same. Some of the uh, parts have been tweaked and, and so forth. Um, oh, and it's lagging. It doesn't like this rocket at all. It's just too big. Uh, also, um, there's big RCS and big SAS uh, now. Uh, there's also these things that show you the center of lift, uh, the center of thrust, and the center of mass, which are very cool, especially for building space planes. Um, used to be building space planes was a real pain because uh, you never could tell exactly where your center of lift was and so on, but now that's much better. Okay, uh, here is the monstrous interplanetary rocket. The outer stage, let me zoom out a little bit. The outer stage is powered by these. Now all these all these stages down here, all these fire at once. Um, but the outermost strap-on booster is uh, powered by a um, jet engine. That's just for the atmosphere. And all it basically does is hold up this fuel while the rest of the engines are sucking it down. Uh, and the uh, next next innermost, innermost uh, strap-on booster uh, it's got one of these um, uh, non-vectoring uh, engines here, uh, and that again is mostly just to hold up this big old column of fuel while this main engine down here uh, sucks it all down. And then there, there, there's the, uh, the the core core stages right here, uh, and then here is the actual interplanetary stage. It's got uh, I I started off with just with um, I've I've already been to uh, Eve, and I started off with just with just one of these rocket engines. Uh, thing is that, that that while they're very efficient. They don't have a whole lot of thrust, and so I figured it might be helpful to have more than one of them uh, in my interplanetary uh, cruise stage. And it's just got a single capsule on it, right here for one guy, and landing legs. And we're going to go to um, uh, Duna, the the Mars-like planet uh, that they've they added uh, with this update. Uh, but we're probably we may not necessarily go to the planet itself. I'm m more interested in uh, uh, Mars's moon, or du sorry, not Mars, it's Duna, Duna's moon, Ike, uh, because I figure if they, they update the Keythane plug-in, uh, it'll be useful to have a uh, interplanetary stopover someplace where you can get fuel uh, and that won't have as much gravity. So uh, I'm mostly interested in landing on Ike. We'll see about landing on Mars if as as things develop. So. And like I'm gonna, I told you, I'm not going to show you the launch because it just absolutely has kittens trying to launch this thing. It will launch it, but I'm afraid recording a video and launching it at the same time just ain't going to work. So uh, we'll go to uh, a mission already in progress. Uh, I've got the Planet Commander 1. I'll just show you that right quick. Orbiting Gilly, <coughs> which I was very disappointed to find out that Gilly doesn't actually have a solid surface. 
Uh, it has uh, like a, a mesh and uh, oh, there it is. It's very cool looking. There's Eve in the background. Uh, it's a very cool looking little moon. Uh, problem is that you can't land on it because uh, there is no solid surface. You just sink down a certain amount in the in the 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 asteroid like dust and then eventually you blow up <laughs> so you can't actually land here that's a, sort of unfortunate I'm, I'm sort of disappointed about that because uh, Gilly was actually one of my prime targets for exploration uh, but anyway I can I can float above here poor uh, Ronely Ronely Kerman Ronely Kerman is very lonely uh, is uh, out here uh, in the orbit of, uh, of Eve <coughs> excuse me there's Eve right there, uh, a very prettier version of Venus, I guess you could say. Uh, and um, he's Ronry Ronry Kerman is very Ronry out here at Gilly, uh, but he still has. Let's see how much fuel you got. A full tank there and, and a half tank there, so you, you probably could actually make it home. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back to the mission in progress. That was Planet Commander One. This is Planet Commander 2. Oh, this is important Kerbal Holder. <laughs> because I didn't want to kill off uh, 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 Jeb, Bill, and Bob straight off. Uh, so I've, I've put them in a, a, uh, a temporary holding position. This little non-airplane here sitting on the, the, the uh, uh, launch pad. Uh, sitting here doing nothing. Uh, Keeping my boys safe uh, while I send some more expendable astronauts out to uh, to die in their place. <laughs> to die in their place. Uh, okay. Um, now back down to business. All right. Planet Commander Two is now orbiting Kerbin. Edson Kerman, one of those more expendable Kerbal ker ker bots that I was thinking of. Uh, and I've got this big. Uh, tank still here. I've only got 200 units in there, so I'll probably jettison that before I try to do anything. Uh, and uh, new in uh, 0 0.17, we have uh, inside views. IVA. You can look around, check out the control panel. It seems like a pretty cramped place to be spending a, a year or so of your life, but oh well. They're small people. And here's the window, which if Anything was out there. Oh, this actually Kerbin's out there, but you can't really see it too well. Uh, anyway, so that's cool. I'm looking forward to using some of the larger capsules later on that have better window views. Uh, okay, so and, and these controls are theoretically all controllable. I mean, you can you can uh, use them just as throttle and uh, so on. It's just not quite as easy to use, I don't think, as the outside view. All right. Let's see. Oh, and the planets look so much cooler now. Check this. Check this shit out. That just looks so much better. Okay, now I need to figure out where Duna is going to be, so I can try to get there. Okay. And we are not yet in a very good position to do that. I figure I should. I'm just totally eyeballing this. But I figure this is this is spinning uh, slower than Kerbin, okay? So I probably should launch like right when Kerbin's right about here. However, in the meantime, I probably have to get so that I can use time compression. I probably need to go ahead and uh, uh, move uh, my rocket to a higher orbit. Whoop. Actually, I don't have to. I could actually just go back here to uh, to my important Kerbal ho holder and uh, time compress there, uh, because when you're in rest, it doesn't doesn't have a problem with you time compressing as much as you want to, or at least it didn't with the last version. Um, but we will see if it will let us move, which right now it's not. Yeah, it is. Just have to use a little RCS. We'll go ahead and burn out the rest of the uh, of the. Uh, big tank to get us to a higher orbit even if we wind up uh, doing time compression from another place uh, I need to get rid of that big tank yep oh, pre froze there for a second come on come on
Okay, that was a tank. RCS off. And let's drop it. Okay, that's good enough. Well, that's kind of cinematic there. Check that out. Okay, all right. Uh, let's actually go to um, go to our stationary observer here, and uh, actually, I'm gonna uh, no, screw it. I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to my important kerbals here, and uh, go to important kerbal holder on the runway. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, time compress a little bit so I can get into a good situation to. Uh, Let's put on our brakes, just in case. Okay. Uh, if you double tap the brake key, it'll, uh, if you're not moving, that'll that'll lock the brakes. So, maybe a parking brake. Let's go ahead and uh, see the, the the planet just looks so much cooler now. It has a little red red shift near the edge. Very awesome. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do some time compression. And I'm, whoa, what the hell was that? That's just freaking weird. I'm sitting still. How can I have, be having any interactions with any of these things? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, I, I figure I'm going to uh, go out to about here. I don't know if you can see my arrow. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little time compression. If it'll let us. And I'm doing this pretty much by the seat of my pants here as far as uh, where I need to um, to do this. Uh, which probably means it's not going to work. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, the center. Uh, the thing is, is that if, if we can actually get a... Uh, a neat intersection uh, without doing a lot of adjusting it's going to be a whole lot better as far as fuel okay here we go map view and again as far as how I do the escape burn it's pretty much totally seat of my pants type of thing I'm not going to claim to have a whole lot of science behind it I mean, there's, there's some science behind it, uh, and I'm not going to just shoot off in some random direction, but uh, I, it's not, I haven't done the math, put it that way. I have not done the math. I'm doing an estimate in my head. All right, that's good. Okay. Now, the, um, the nuclear rocket engines, or at least the one I had before, uh, takes forever to, to get anywhere, so I may have to start the burn and then then restart the tape when uh, something ha important happens. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yep. Okay. Oh, baby, go! No. 